What's up y'all? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, if you're just joining us, we are in the middle of restoring the underside of an Evo 9. Uh, well, not really the middle anymore. We're towards the end. We're putting things back on the car, and in this video, we're going to be doing the rear differential. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so we're in the parts room here as I've deemed it because there's stuff absolutely everywhere. Um, but we got the mustache bar here with brand new bushings in it. Uh, we got our fully built rear differential from TRE. Um, and we got our newly Cerakoted uh, rear subframe piece here that we're going to put it all onto and then back on the car. So um, let's mount the mustache bar first and then we'll get the differential put onto that and then we'll throw it onto the car. But uh, yeah, here we go. All right, so I mentioned we're getting there slowly. We've been uh, trying to wait for parts and all that stuff, but we've got pretty much everything we need to get everything back together now. So um, that and we're moving. So if you missed the last couple of videos, uh, we are moving in the middle of all this. So <laughs> we are putting things in hyperdrive right now, trying to get it all back together. So um, I'm pretty sure this goes this way. So we'll mount it in there just like such. And uh, let me get the hardware and the bolts real quick and we'll throw that back on there just like that. All right, all bolted down. Again, not torqued because I'm not going through and torquing down any of the bolts just yet. Um, I will probably will torque these before I put it back on the car, uh, but as far as the suspension components and all that stuff, we're gonna wait to torque those until everything's on the car. But uh, let's get the differential mounted onto this thing. Um, slide that there. Pick up the old diffy. Bring it over right there. All right. I'm trying to debate right now whether to mount it on there now or take it outside and mount it on um, might be a little less cumbersome to get through the house uh, <laughs> without the diff bolted onto it so um, perhaps we will mount this on outside give me a sec all right so I think it's gonna be easier to take it outside and mount it on that way so to the garage <laughs> all right let's put these get some anti C's on here and put these bolts in All right, that is all attached. Now let's uh, pick this thing up. We'll get it under there to the jack and then we'll jack it up into place and we'll take the hardware and we'll mount it all where it needs to be. And this thing will be in the car, which is uh, rather exciting. <laughs> And there it is. Um, everything is bolted in. Uh, diff is nice and snuggy in there. Um, now we just got to put some little brackets uh, that goes, uh, you probably can't see, but let me uh, roll forward here. Uh, it goes here and here. It kind of connects this right here. Uh, got to do that. But other than that, we are moving right along here. Um, it just looks so good. I'm trying to like process everything. This has been out of the car for so long um, and I've been looking forward to this for so long and like seeing the colors into there and everything and um, yeah this burnt bronze was definitely the move. Uh, now that this big piece is under here we can see it like all together. Um, yeah it's super solid. <laughs> okay now that that's in there and the other side is on as well um, I think I'm going to install some new bushings I have on the drive shaft and we'll throw the drive shaft back on. Uh, I don't see why we can't do that right now um, so yeah. I'm gonna throw the drive shaft on. Okay, so actually, I think I'm gonna wait, um, being as it's about 12.30 at night right now, and I think I wanna respray this drive shaft. Um, I used some high heat paint on it, but um, it ended up being much more um, like flat black than I wanted it to be. Um, it wasn't supposed to be, or at least I thought it wasn't supposed to be, <laughs> this color black. 
um, it looks like super, super matte. So um, I'm gonna spray some more paint on it, a little bit more of a semi-gloss, um, and hopefully that will make it look a little bit better because right now, um, I mean, I could put it on there, but it's just gonna stand out so much from the rest of the car under there with the semi-gloss um, on the rest of the car, sort of. Um, and this thing like almost like a chalkboard. So um, yeah, let's jump to the next day and uh, we'll spray this thing All right, it's the next day and you can kind of see what I was talking about a little bit better today uh, With the door open. It was a little dark in here last night, but um, yeah, just a little too flat for me We're gonna spray it with some different paint here and uh, get it back on the car. We've got the before And the after Much better in my opinion Now we can let it dry for a minute throw it back on the car all right, get ready to mount this thing. Uh, these are the old bushings. Uh, they're pretty crappy, pretty dry rotted, pretty bleh. Um, so I went ahead and got some Torque Solutions uh, bushings for the drive shaft here. Uh, put those in, these little holes here for the mounting, and it should be pretty solid. We got the whole thing bolted down, bolted in, um, everything seems to be in place. Um, so yeah, um, I did have this part of the drive shaft marked on top here, so I know that was the top right uh, side of the drive shaft. So um, everything was how I left it, um, or how I got it off the car to start with. Um, but yeah, we are, we are moving right along, guys. I'm actually going to go back through and um, kind of snug everything just to make sure it's all good. And then I'm going to take, uh, where's it at? Um, I have a paint marker somewhere and I'm going to mark each of the bolts so I know uh, one they're tight and two um, if they get loose I can tell when the paint lines are not matched or whatever. Um, kind of like how the guys did on the rear diff there uh, from the shop so um, yeah. Alrighty so we went ahead and went around and tightened everything down, went ahead and marked everything with the paint pen so now we can know if they begin to get loose or whatever um, and we know they're tight uh, going through the car and seeing everything. Uh, we'll know that everything is tight. I uh, went ahead and done um, the rest of the stuff through here on the drive shaft there. Um, just everywhere, all the bolts. So um, yeah, I think that's buttoned up. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this one off here. So um, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the process, the progress. If you have any comments or questions, drop those down there as well. We're glad to help much as I can, chat, whatever. And while you're down there doing all that stuff, don't forget to do all the other YouTube things. You guys know how it goes here, and I will see you in the next one whenever we are doing more on this car, getting it that much closer to being done. Um, we're almost there. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.